from the zero, the guns. Check zero, there's a rabbit out to the right of us. Martin's the other side of the vehicle. I'm gonna try and quietly get in the place and have a pop at him. Up to good one. Well, that was easy enough, Mark, wasn't it? <laughs> right, well, that ain't a bad start. We weren't even planning to shoot anything yet, I think so, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't a bad start. We weren't even planning to start shooting yet. Mark, it's another one. Oh no, it's the same. Yeah, he's just flicking about. Well, that wasn't a bad start. We weren't even planning to start shooting nothing yet. We'll go and bang that one, because I think he's just gone in the... Uh... Well, it's gonna go down. I'm going to go down and dispatch him. Looks like uh, he's still flicking the bass. So I'm going to go down and do that. Right, we're going to start zeroing up in a sec. Um, see, Martin's walking back. <coughs> down there, we've got a target. And uh, I've just done a video uh, reviewing my rangefinder. This is when they come in handy. Uh, just a quick blip of the button, and uh, bang, you know, you can, you can range that, that's 50 yards. So, that's taking all the work out of getting tape measures out and all the rest of it. Our tent's all filled up and ready to go. Martin's going to be zeroing his, uh, his rapid, um, which has been playing about last couple of times with it now. But the barrel was really dirty, Mark, wasn't it? Absolutely yeah, minging. Very, very dirty, mate. So, so uh, we have given that a clean. Well, we have. Pull through after pull through, and it's, hopefully it's clean. Mark, let's give it a clean. So, hopefully, jobs are good. We'll give that a zero in a minute. I'll, uh, I'll go down and have a look at, the, uh, look at the groups in a sec. See how that goes. But see you in a minute. Right, Martin's just whacking some round. We're just trying to lead the barrel up on the uh, on the Rapido. 30 foot pound, Mark? Yeah. 30 yeah. foot pound yeah. FAC Rapid. It's got a, it's got a bent out the regulator. It's got a bent regulator on it, this one. Um, all of a sudden, it just started shooting all over the place. And uh, I'm not a third of a fan, as Martin knows, but like, they aren't a bad gun. And when it shoots straight, it shoots well, doesn't it? Right, that's it's the last one, Mark. It? Yeah, it's on the red. Uh, but for some reason, it just started going all over again, hoping it's a dirty barrel. Very dirty. The groups down there definitely seem to be a lot better. Um, we're, we're starting at 50 yards, show you the target all the way down there. Right, I won't bore you with too much of this, see you in a bit. Right, this is the first bit of paper we bought back, there's about 20 shots in that. The barrel should be leading up now. Um, for those of you that don't know, if you clean a barrel, it will require a few pellets through before it comes on song. So don't assume after you've cleaned it uh, that it's all gone wrong. But the general rule of thumb is, for most people, uh, don't clean it. If it's shooting straight, don't clean it. I don't do my barrels unless they start to do something I don't like. And then I'll give them a clean and then lead them up. See you soon. Did you see it? Yeah, very much right over. Just kicking down, see him. Nice shot, Mark. Well done, mate. Almost didn't get the camera out in time there, Mark. was just taking a rabbit in the field to the left of us. Uh, what we're doing, we're driving around the permission. Um, we're using the rangefinder um, to give us a 50 yard perimeter because um, that's about right zero for the, the two-two that Martin's using. And uh, we're just coming up to the end. This field here has got a fence between us and the actual field that we were shooting into. And uh, an opportunity just come up about 50, 60 yards. A little bit over 50 miles. We're 16. No, we've got a safe backdrop, so we know where we're going. So, nice shot. 
straight through, straight out of one shot. What, we need to drive around into that one, Mark, don't we? We can collect him. Don't know if we can get in there, mate, we might have to hop him up. That's him over there, isn't it? Yeah, see, yeah. see there, there's a porridge yeah. or something there, that looked like a rabbit from back there. Part of, I see the partridge. Oh, yeah, I see him there. Yeah. What, we're gonna draw I don't think food. we can get up there, Mark. Have a look. But I don't, don't think look. we can get in there. Forget. We're in there. We're in phony, phony. We're in remote. There is cow, mate. I've just seen a cow behind me in that field. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I'll see. Well, I'm gonna go around and see if we can find a rabbit. See it a bit. Right, for those of you that are wondering what Martin's using, this is what he's using. I'll just uh, pan slowly along the gun. I believe it's a CZ. He's, uh, he's just gone to go and collect that rabbit he's just done over there. There he is. Bless him. Nice clean kill. Right, uh, yeah, I'll ask Martin in a sec. I think it's a CZ. Uh, what's the scope? It's a, uh, it's a Falcon Menace, so this is one that I borrowed off him. I'm not over keen on the reticle, uh, but the optics are really nice. It's got like a half mil dot um, reticle on it, this one. Mark, it's a C22 CZ, isn't it? CZ it is, yeah. Yeah, CZ22. And that's a Parker Hale silencer on there, isn't it? Yeah. That's the old bunny. Well done, mate. Um, what ammo are you using, Mark? Are you using the sub -sub Bisley Subsonics? E Ely Subsonics, sorry. Right, well, there you go. You can tell I'm an air rifle, man. I don't know nothing about bullets. There you go. It's a, it's a Aris pod on there. Yep. With, right, Aris pod. Cool, I can't Okay, mate. Straight away, lights out. So, she's... Uh, Pregnant? Where did I hit it? Don't know. Maybe, maybe you didn't hit it, maybe you just scared it to death. 